Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is August the 23rd, 2024, and I'm on vacation now. Woohoo! So for the next three weeks, I'm off work and uh, going to enjoy some vacation time, which uh, some of it will be here at the house, some of it will be away. Uh, I'm going to take you on some adventures while I'm away. Some of you might have already thought that I was on vacation because I haven't put out a lot of videos this week. I put one out on Tuesday, and uh, that was it for the week. Reason for that, I've been working on other videos and things that will uh, come out while I am away. So I want to make sure that there's things for you guys to watch. Some of the traditional things that you're used to seeing. Uh, Smokey and I have been working hand in hand getting ready for the next snail, uh, uh, Stamp vs. Stamp series video. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Stamp of the Month video is uh, in progress and being worked on too. So that will come out while I'm away. So it won't have a lot of interruptions. We'll have some and we'll talk about those at the end of the video too. Uh, about what's going to happen coming up, things like uh, live streams and such. But uh, stay tuned for that. Now, if you're finding my channel for the first time and uh, you like what you see by the time you get to the end of it, make sure you like, you subscribe, you leave positive comments, you share with other people, we put the notification bell on. And uh, I'd love to hear from you to find out how you heard about my channel and uh, some of the things you like about it. All right, the first thing I want to do is get into my official post crossing cards that came through. Only had two that arrived this week. Uh, the first one comes from the United States. It comes from Matthew in Florida. And he says uh, his town has lots of great restaurants and ponds and lots of uh, birds and wildlife around, including alligators. And one of the fun things that he loves to do is to go swimming in the pool with his friends. And he loves country music. Well, if he loves country music, he should be in Moncton this weekend. Uh, the Country Music Festival is on. They call it YQM. It started... Uh, yesterday and then it'll go through the weekend so it's a big festival that happens here every year i've got as much a big country music fan so it doesn't affect me one way or the other there is the forever stamp and he's added some stickers and things on it too so thank you so much matthew the next card comes from a family in russia and this is a cute cute scene um just says uh sending greetings to my family and uh, they love to go geocaching and i've ever done it I have done it a couple times. I wasn't very successful. My wife was more successful finding the uh, hidden things in the forest and wherever they were uh, than I was. But it was fun. It was a fun activity. We took the kids when they were younger to do it. And uh, I've since been re-exposed to it a couple times uh, when Sophia comes down with her family. And they've done some geocaching down here too. So uh, I know it's going, uh, it's still growing and is uh, very popular around the world. Uh, one of the things I have to show, though, is the Russian stamps that are on this card. Just beautiful. They produce some of the most amazing looking stamps. So thank you so much for that card. Now, let's get to some fish, or some uh, direct swaps that have shown up. And I did have one box that showed up, too. So we'll talk about that, too. Uh, the first card comes from Anita in Austria. She was at a meetup and also... Carl and Christian were at that meetup, so they were going to send me a meetup card. So she thought, well, I'm going to send her, him this one here. If you followed Anita at all on her social media, uh, Crazy Daisy on Instagram, uh, she is um, always posting pictures of the delightful treats that she has along the way. And lots of ice cream over the summer. So this was a very appropriate card to get, and uh, I appreciate it very much. Uh, there is the Austrian stamp that she's used, and we've got some ice cream washi tape. So thank you so much for that. Uh, the next card comes from Bennett in New Zealand. And he sends this maxi card, which he says he'd gotten from his grandmother. And he said he was happy that, uh, I think it was last week, maybe, or maybe even the week before, probably a couple weeks now. Um, I'd gotten one of his cards. He was in the process of moving, so I'd asked for his address. Uh, he did include his address on this. Bennett, if you were watching, though, uh, the cancellation mark went right through the middle of it. So I have the uh, street name, and I have the city and the, the uh, postal code, but I don't have the line in between. So if there's a way you could reach out to me, either that dad guy, uh, 1974 on uh, Instagram, or uh, send me an email or something or other, I would really appreciate it. Um, leave a comment in this video if uh, you don't have that uh, information and I can get it to you. So uh, thank you so much for that. Thank you for this card. Uh, there is the stamp. Hopefully you've enjoyed your move. There also seems like you were doing a little bit of traveling while you were around or maybe while you were looking for your new place uh, because I believe this card is from you. It wasn't signed. Or, yeah, it is from you. Sorry. The other one wasn't signed. This one here, Bennett. 
uh, when you were in Fiji. So you said you were sending out some cards. And whether I had this one or not, I don't believe my father did because it was a very modern stamp, so it would have been after. So thank you, Bennett, for thinking of me and sending off a card. And hopefully you had a beautiful time in Fiji. Uh, the next card comes from our friend Renee Lewis, who lives in Arkansas. So uh, you want to follow Renee as well on uh, YouTube. So make sure you go check out her stuff. And uh, she says she's getting ready for her school year. Uh, so summer is done for you. I'm so sorry of that. Uh, but you're going to get ready. And she said uh, her kids or her students, not kids, uh, her young adults, her students in university will be learning about uh, the things that are taking place on the front of this card. Uh, all the rocks and where they come from. In the great state of Arkansas, and there's the forever stamp. So thank you, Renee. And of course, the unicorn for the unicorn gang. Next card comes from, da, 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 let's see, where did it go? I have two in a row here. Uh, this one comes from Media. She was on a trip to Spain, and she also decided to zip over to Gibraltar, as uh, we know, belongs to the United Kingdom. So there we have some cute uh, monkeys waving the Union Jack in front of the post-it box, and it says, hands off, we are British. I thought it was kind of cute humor right there. The Rock of Gibraltar. And there is the stamp. So thank you so much, Media from Finland, who was in Spain, but went to Gibraltar. There, you've got the whole line. Uh, but she sent me an envelope as well. So well, there are the stamps from Finland. And she sent me this. She said she was watching these championships back in the day. Look at that beautiful stamp. And it's cancellation on there too. So an Estonian stamp. Sent that. She sent this vintage train one. It was a time when she was in Sweden. And this postcard as well. She sent these just before she left to go on her trip. So thank you so much. It's funny how the mail arrives uh, in the same week. Sometimes you get stuff that was sent a long time ago and sometimes it was things that were just sent and they arrived the same time. Uh, the next card comes from uh, Snail Mail with Smokey, so you got to check out his channel as well on YouTube. Uh, if not just because of our collaboration with uh, Stamp vs. Stamp, we have videos every month that we do together, and uh, I have the exact same thumbnail, so it's easy to find them. You just got to make sure one says that dad guy and the other says Snail Mail with Smokey, so you watch both of them. But he sends me this card. He was at a stamp show, and there was a meetup taking place at the exact same time that he didn't know about at the time. But I uh, did get to go inside and collect a few uh, postcards from there, find out about the meetup, maybe plan on doing it next year. And on the back, he sent the new Alex Trebek uh, memorial stamps. So the Jeopardy game show, for those of you who watch it, um, well, the American version for sure was hosted by Alex Trebek, uh, Canadian, for a very, very long time. And um, he just recently passed away uh, from cancer. And so... Uh, U.S. Postal Service uh, recognized him with these great stamps. So thank you, Smokey, for that. And I know uh, Jeopardy meant a lot uh, for you to watch it with your father, too, so it, it played a big part in your life as well. All right, the next card comes from Monty in Saskatchewan. And I uh, hadn't heard from him in a little while. And so he says he's back. He's home yesterday after spending 15 days at the Royal University Hospital uh, with pneumonia. So. I'm sorry to hear that you were unwell. Glad to hear you are doing much better now. And uh, you're back into the swing of things of sending postcards and communicating again. Um, so I am glad to hear that you're on the mend. There are the stamps that he sent with it. And uh, this is the University of Saskatchewan Hospital in the Hub City. That's what this vintage card is. So welcome back to health again, Monty. Glad to hear from you. The next is an envelope. I received this from Ida Marie in Maryland. There are the nice stamps. She's always includes some baseball stamps, so she knows I'm into baseball. And Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees is going on strong right now. So is uh, Juan Soto. Uh, the Yankees are starting to win again. There was a little spell where they weren't, so they're back in first place in the American League East Division. We're a game and a half up on Baltimore as of today. So always watching to see how things are going. And uh, Ida Marie just sent me a package of fun things that she found. This one here, collect stamps, it's fun, and they are. So it's just kind of a, 
a sheet of stickers. They're perforated, so you can tear them apart and do it. There's a sheet of four that were part of that. She also sent me some airmail stickers, not airmail stamps, but these are the stickers, some really older ones. And a couple postcards from the Miss, uh, Smithsonian National Postal Museum. So they're the same thing. I saw somebody else post recently of having the same uh, postcard. So thank you, Ida Marie, for thinking about me when you, you find some postal things. And uh, for the nice baseball stamp, too. Uh, the next one comes from Sam in Illinois. Another envelope. There are the stamps. And inside the envelope, Sam has sent this postcard. Some biker chicks. And hopefully not too scary for you. And she says she found these, the things I'm about to show you, on a, at a bookstore on a work trip. It was one of those old shops that had books stacked from the floor to the ceiling in disarray. And luckily, she spotted a filing cabinet labeled postcards and was pleasantly surprised to find some first day covers and thought of me. Uh, there we've got a Mickey made of donuts. Side note on donuts. Uh, as today was my vacation, I thought, you know what? I'm going to stop at Halo Donuts. I've shown Halo before. Uh, I was going to celebrate with some donuts. I got there at quarter to 10. And they don't open till 11 o'clock. So uh, I guess I could go back out and uh, get some. But at the time, I was like, I'm going to wait till Friday. I've often been thinking about these donuts all week. It's like, I want to celebrate, have a vacation, uh, have a donut. And that was closed. Well, maybe it was the world reminding me I don't really need a donut, <laughs> even though I like them. Uh, so here are some of the first day covers she found. Very nice, very beautiful. And then first day issue uh, from Portugal. And this one here from, uh, is dated from Memphis, Tennessee, 1973. And this is embossed. It's not a, a stamp, but it's embossed on there. So thank you so much, Sam, for that. Or as you go by Monster and uh, your uh, husband, Moose, and uh, you ask the questions, have I seen a moose in my neighborhood recently? I have not. Uh, there was one earlier on this summer that uh, did show up on some people's uh, cameras, not too far away, but I still didn't see him. Uh, but uh, I guess he was in the neighborhood at one point in time. All right, the next card I have comes from Australia. This comes from Chris. It's a, a uh, maxi card of sorts. I know the images aren't identical, identical, but same thematic. And she says, uh, he says he recently got a bulk of Australian maxi cards, most of which are from the 80s to the 2000s. So thank you so much. No stamp on the back, because the stamp's on the front. So thank you, Chris. Next card comes from Hawaii. And this comes from Zach. He was away on vacation, traveling to Hawaii. And uh, she says he's sadly back home again now in Illinois, but uh, he had a great trip. Got some of the manatee stamps on the back. So thank you, Zach, for that. The next card made me a little bit jealous, but I know my friends are all around the world and they travel a lot. So it's fantastic to see places that I haven't been to before, would love to. And this is one of them, Mount Fuji in Japan. As most of you know, who have been watching my channel for a while, it is at the top of my bucket list to go to Japan. Um, hopefully one day my wife and I will get there. But this comes from um, Merit and Andre from Estonia. They were traveling and Merit said she actually got the hike to the top. She sent me a video of her at the top of it. Uh, so it was a bit windy and uh, cloudy, but you couldn't see the sunset peeking through and she did it. She did make it to the top. There are the stamps on the back. Beautiful turtle stamp. Nice big cancellation um, for the, the ascension of Mount Fuji. So thank you to both of you for uh, always uh, keeping me in uh, communication with wherever you guys travel because you go to some amazing and far off destinations. So, so glad that if I haven't been there, at least someone I know has been there and enjoyed it. Uh, the next card comes from uh, Christina. She's in Russia. So she's found me. I know she's been watching the channel. Uh, she asked whether or not she could send me a card, which I'm glad that she did. I wish I could write her back. Her address is on here, but I'm still not able to, to send cards to Russia out of Canada yet. Unless you go through a different location, uh, you know, send it to someone that I know in a different country and they, they mail it on. That, that can be done too. But 
Uh, Christina, thank you for this. And she sent some amazing stamps. There's some older ones and I asked if I hope I didn't have them in my collection. I don't, they're just beautiful. Um, I see you've also included your Instagram on here. So I am gonna reach out on Instagram. I'm hoping you can, uh, can see it. I know I've had other friends that um, Instagram has been blocked in Russia. So depending on what kind of VPN you use or things, maybe you still have access. So I will try to reach out to you on that. Uh, and the next envelope, just repositioning something here, comes from Linda in Georgia, or she's a, uh, uh, Linda the Stamp Gal. And so she sent me this envelope. And in it, she's kind of preparing a bit for the future. Uh, she sent me this card with some nice details of uh, how things are going in her life. I really appreciate that. But she said she wanted to, because she wasn't sure how fast the mail has moving, she wanted to send me some Halloween things. So here are some stickers we have for Halloween, which is always nice to get uh, some things. And sometimes at the, the time, there's some beautiful postcards too, the Halloween theme. When the timer rolls around, it's like, oh, I should have gotten you know, washi tape or I should have gotten stickers or something like that. I usually go to the dollar store if I need to get stickers for a um, holiday. And uh, I still think I might have a few left over. I know Julie B sent me a few stickers with that Halloween, uh, Halloween theme on it too, but it's really nice to have some postcards. Uh, so I appreciate that. I appreciate people thinking about me uh, this way. As I always say, uh, I don't ask for anything. I don't want that to, to be the uh, moniker you feel for my channel that uh, he's the guy that asks for everything and wants stuff for free. It's not what I want. Uh, I do enjoy surprises that show up and I try to respond respond uh, uh, to anyone who writes. So I do my best that way. So thank you, Linda, for that. Um, that being said, uh, where do I go here? I'm gonna go to this one. So this box arrived. This comes from Anna in New York and uh, I asked her, can I do an unboxing with this? And she was like, I, I, I don't, rather not, which is okay. If you don't want to, you don't want to. I appreciate that. She just said this was some stuff she had uh, laying around and she saw that I'm into decorating and things. Uh, I don't decorate at her level, um, but uh, I'm trying my best and uh, she's encouraging me to continue to try. So this box is actually filled with washi tape. I won't go through them one at a time and show you. That would have been the, the unboxing video, but uh, that's what we decided not to do. So you will probably see me decorating with these new washi tapes that she sent me. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to have to find or create some sort of cabinet um, to maybe display the washi tape so it's easy to, to spot which ones I have and which ones I can use, especially when I'm looking at color coordinating things. Um, I'm going to have to find a system because I've got little boxes of them everywhere now which uh, uh, I'm very happy to, to be able to have the variety. So thank you, Anna, for thinking about me and sending on a few things. All right, uh, I received two other envelopes that we won't get into. Um, we will say uh, this one comes from Carolyn, and Carolyn is in, make sure I'm not giving away anything here. Carolyn is in uh, Minnesota, and uh, she has sent something crafty to me. And so that is going to be part of Calling All Artists, another episode of that will be coming out soon. And it will be uh, with this one here that comes from Carrie, who sent me this one too. And Carrie's in New Mexico. So we have two new artist things to display and to talk about and to share their works that they're going to be doing. So watch out for that video coming out uh, soon as well. <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of cough right at the end or near the end. Um, as you know, I have some limericks that have been sent to me by Stephen in Australia, and uh, this particular card will be the limerick that he has sent for today, and it says, On the street, selling matches, a girl has got the whole town in a whirl. She's dreadfully thin and as, as ugly as sin, and her language makes sailors hair curl. Wow. She is a force to be reckoned with. So thank you, Stephen, for that limerick. And that brings me to the end of my mail that I've received this week. Uh, a very happy amount. Now let's look forward to or what's going to happen going forward. Okay, first of all, live streams. Tomorrow, normally my live streams are 12 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. Tomorrow's live stream is going to be at... It's going to be at 9.30 Atlantic Standard Time. So... 
We're gonna be two and a half hours earlier than normal because I am going off to something in St. John tomorrow and I wanna be able to film it and share that with you in the future. I don't know if it'll come out tomorrow night or whether we postpone until a later day, uh, depending on what time we get back and the things that we have to do. But uh, there is gonna be another video tomorrow. So I couldn't do it at noon because we will be in transit or on transit to the, uh, the new place. Uh, for the video so if you want to join me for the live stream tomorrow it's going to be at 9 30 atlantic standard time in the morning that being said going forward the next two saturdays the live streams probably won't happen um, if they do it'll be a surprise but uh, i'm not scheduled to do either of them because i'm going to be traveling with my vacation and uh to stop and do an hour live stream where internet may not be easily accessible, uh, may not be uh, doable. So if I am going to do one, I will let you know. I'll put something out in advance saying, yeah, we're going to have one if I can. But uh, we're going to plan that maybe we won't have live streams for two weeks, which will affect uh, the first Saturday of the month. Because that's in two weeks time. And uh, normally that's when I show you the answers to the questions. Now, I haven't gotten many, so it'll give more chance for them to arrive and uh, me to collect the mail. So that's probably what I'll do is that the first, uh, second Saturday in September, I will show you the answers to the question and give you a new question. All right, that's one part. Part two is that uh, I am going to be traveling. So uh, I'm going to be sending out videos as I can. I'm gonna, I've been pre-scheduling some of them to come out. Uh, so you will still see some things while I'm away, but it may not be every day. And uh, I'm going to be working on a bunch of uh, travel videos that you guys can enjoy, hopefully, when I get back. Uh, some may come out while I'm away if I have the uh, the time to edit and to get the uh, internet connection to, to do it. I will. Uh, otherwise, you can join me in reviewing the uh, the trip when I get back. Because like I said, I'm taking three weeks off, so when I get back from my trip, I still will have time here to be doing some things. So if you haven't heard from me in a little bit, I'm okay. I'm just having fun. And uh, I'm off with my wife and we're spending time together. So that's uh, going to be very important and very healthy for us to get out and kind of uh, be kids in a couple again without having uh, kids with us. So it's been a long time since we've been able to travel and have a, a thing like that. So very much looking forward to exploring a bit of uh, our planet and uh, seeing uh, some sites we did see before but at a very young age and uh, see some things we've never seen before too. That being said, I think that's all I've got. Oh, and thank you to anyone. Uh, last weekend I was promoting uh, sending cards to Donna Miller. Um, you can still do that. The address is in the three videos that I did last weekend. And uh, I want to thank those people that have either said that they've sent a card or were planning on sending a card to her. It'll be a nice surprise when they reach her mailbox. And uh, maybe Joe will uh, let me know when they start arriving too, so I can let you know that uh, what her reaction was to getting these surprise letters in the mail. All right, that's going to be it for today. You guys, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?